So this is classic dung beetle evidence. This is the manure that was fresh, and this is the pile that the dung beetle left. So it dug down in under the pile of manure. And if I feel around, I will find a hole that the dung beetle dug. I might have to move some of the manure, but this is a classic dung beetle. Look, there we go, there's the hole. There is the door dung beetle hole, right in under there. And that is what I was looking for today on somebody's farm. And they didn't have any. So, not many farms. There's far, a lot of farms don't have door dung beetles. And I'm surprised at how few door dung beetles are around. It's not a good sign on other people's farms. Here we have loads of them. Lots and lots of door dung beetles are in the area. Their little piles are next to a lot of these manures. Oh, and I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel the sneeze. Ah Bless my soul. Anyway, lots of door dung beetles. The daytime manures they tend not to dig into. But those that are done at night, see, this pile of manure seems to have no evidence if you look around the edges. But if we dig in, there we go. There's the evidence right there. There's that granular stuff and there's the hole right there. So I'm gonna put that one back on top. So there's door dung beetles all over the place. You sometimes have to dig for the evidence. The horses I've moved on to a paddock at the far end down there. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. This is the walnut tree that my grandfather planted. It could be 50 years ago or more. And I've collected seeds, but I've only managed to have four continue to grow. And those are five years old. They're very slow growers. I had nine germinated and then they slowly, as I planted them, some of them died, but some of them are living. So never give up. Anyway, I've got to get the yos uh, down into the field where the lambs were now. Now, I'm being a bit of a tracker. And if you see that paw print, that is not a dog paw print. That could be a badger looking for food you can see that manure is disturbed. And that was a badger probably, their front paw, when he was snuffling around in there looking for dung beetles. This is evidence that dung beetles were in here. Whether the badger caught the dung beetle before it buried, let's see, yes, you're looking. Yes, see, that's the badger footprint. You can see the one, two, three, you can see the four digits, the three digits there rather. So there's probably a hole in there somewhere that hopefully the door dung beetle dug. Oh, look. Have you found another door dung beetle? Oh, you have. You have. Look at that. You clever thing. There's a door dung beetle hole right there. No, let's, let's leave it. No, no, no. Don't dig it. Don't dig it. Don't dig it. Let's leave it. Leave it, Inca. Inca, leave it. Come on. And look, there's another. Oh, there's this place is full of them. There's a door dung beetle here, here, here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. There's six door dung beetles on this pile of manure. I better bury that. That's great. Six on the one pile. Come on, pups. Let's go. Come on. Leave the dung beetles alone. I want lots of them. I want them to breed and have happy families here. Happy families of dung beetles. Happy families. Isn't that right? Okay, now to herd sheep. Come on, girls. Woo! Come on. Woo! Come on. Atta girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. 
Atta girls, come on. Come on. Good girls. Come on, girls. Come on. One at a time, I have to go through the gate. Come on, girls. Atta girls. Come on, Ebony. Go on. Go on, Ebony. Go on. That a good girl. Okay. I'm going to let them do that. And I've got to go get the alpaca, which are some here somewhere in front of the woodshed. Eating the windfall cookers. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Good girls. Good girls. Brindle, Brindle, wait. Maya, wait. Good dogs. They knew I'd come for them. Go on. Good girl. There we go. Okay. So, now. Okay. I'm going to put you down there and close this little gate. Atta girl, Inca. Good girl. Making sure Ebony doesn't turn around. Come on, go on, girls. Go on, alpaca. Get in there. Ooh. Yep. Inca, come back. Job done. The alpaca are in. And all the sheep are in. And tomorrow I might let them in the long acre for some additional grazing. 